Hey, good morning, family, and happy Tuesday. What a great weekend at Woodland we Church. We hope you had a wonderful Easter with your family yep. and whatever that looks like, that it was a great day. It was a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I'm going to tell you, Good Friday service was so special mm -hmm. as we all gathered to worship the Lord and receive communion. I was frankly surprised at the turnout. Oh my goodness, and Saturday we just had people everywhere. Oh. I think we really didn't know what to expect, yeah, yeah. but it was great to see all the kids out and having fun, and <laughs> I've gotten a couple of text messages and emails saying thank you, thank you. It was great to have something for our kids on Easter. And Sunday morning at Woodland, two great services as we celebrate. It's so different than last year when we couldn't meet oh, together yeah. because of the pandemic. But this year we were together. Yeah. We were social distancing and doing all the safety precautions, but we were together. <laughs> Someone called me yesterday and I said, yeah, I don't know how, but we were able to keep pretty well. Most everybody socially distanced for that big event on Saturday. So many families out there. <clears throat> I think that's that was the key. People stayed like in family yeah. groups yeah. and uh, that kept, just kept everything moving and working. I was moved with how many people were just expressing gratitude yeah. and saying how much they appreciated yeah. the fact that the church opened up. We had a lot of people from our community and folks that were telling me, you know, we actually go to another church, but no one was offering anything for their mm -hmm. children. And then we met quite a few people that were unchurched. Yeah, so it was a great weekend and a great time to celebrate Christ's resurrection. But one of the things we talked about with the children on Sunday was that, hey, resurrection wasn't the end. It was the beginning. It was the beginning. You know, as we get ready to just pray with you this morning, just remember this. God will give you a vision for your life no matter what age you are. You know, I sat in an orange grove years and years ago. I was in my 20s before our children were born. That's when we thought 60 was old. Yeah, that's when we thought 60 <laughs> were old. And, and I just, somehow or another, I realized I had all this vision for students. And then I thought, I wonder if God gives old people visions. <laughs> and now I are one. And the thing is, yes, God gives you vision. It doesn't matter how old you are. And he takes the nuts and bolts of that vision and he turns it into reality. But I think the key is this. It's one of my dad's favorite scriptures and it's one of mine today as well. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And the apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 8 that knowledge can puff up or knowledge can build up others. We need knowledge, but more important than knowledge is love. And when you love God and you love people and you apply yourself to knowledge, it won't puff you up, but it will cause you to build other people up as well. I heard someone say one time, knowledge is a gift and wisdom is what you do with it. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, let's pray together this morning. Heavenly Father, thank you for such a wonderful weekend at Woodland. Thank you, Lord, for the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. As the song says, because you live, we can face tomorrow. Because you live, Lord, we will also live forever. And I ask you that today, that you will speak to people's hearts, no matter what age they are, young or old, that God, you still have a plan for their life, and that you will turn their nuts and bolts of their vision into reality. Father, I pray this week that you would help us, Lord, as we've come through the resurrection weekend, Lord, to look ahead to the life you planned. You showed us Hallelujah. new life can begin. Hallelujah. And Father, I pray this week that you would give us new dreams, yes, new Jesus. vision, new hope in every aspect of our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hey, I don't know if you noticed this, but... Um, now that Easter's over, I started playing Christmas music again today. I heard that this morning. Wasn't that We're great? We're not talking about that. <laughs> hey, God bless you. <laughs>